You know, as psychiatrists, we see people every day who do things they don't want to do. Um, and then as humans, we do things that we don't want to do and have friends and family members uh, who do things they don't want to do. And, you know, pa Paul writes uh, Paul writes this also of, uh, you know, the things he wants to do, he doesn't do. And things he doesn't want to do, those are the things he does. So um, this, is a, this is a sort of common observation that we all have. Uh, and maybe we have privileged perspectives on a lot of the things people do. And that's great. But um, most people will like shrug that off. So what? I do things that I don't want to do. That's just what I, that's just who I am. That's just myself. And what Gotama seems to be saying is, no, I don't, I don't think you understand what a self well, that's is. That's what's so important is because what you just said is actually saying that Paul exposited what could be called a Gotama consistent doctrine of the self. And, 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 and so let's get up to what I believe is the incredibly important divinely <laughs> Not just divinely inspired, you see, but divinely created, divinely occurring. I mean, I view, and, and here's the one line, you know, I, I told Abigail, the West Coast director of the Veritas Forum, there was going to be one big take-home message from this. Mindfulness, you know, you learn that, and hopefully that's good take -home. Here's a good one-liner that I'm sure that everyone is going to find easy to remember. Only one human being who ever lived only one human being who ever lived actually had a self. And that one human being was Jesus Christ. See, once you get your mind around that, you can see how this teaching of Gautama several centuries before Jesus Christ was incarnated as a human being, when Gautama said it, it was true. No human being had a self at that time. And in the subsequent centuries, millennia, only one human being has had a self, Jesus Christ. But if you're a Christian, that self is inside of you and you can participate in it. And someday, through faith, we will be with it. And we, in some ways that we are not knowledgeable about now, that we have to have a lot of humility about, you know, we will actually have that self in some real sense. So, so the self is a process, you know, and we are all works in process as we attempt to in the infusion of the self of Christ into us as we try to open ourselves to that. And so much of Christian meditation, in my view, is just that. And so much of prayer, properly understood, is just that. Opening yourself to the guidance of the Holy Spirit straight ahead, no, I mean, some of the, I mean, a lot of this you already know, but maybe it hasn't quite been conceptualized like this. But, in, 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 but I'm, I'm trying to work it all the way up to that the self of Jesus Christ becomes our self as a process through life, although we never quite get there on this side of the line.